Welcome to EC History in 60, where we're exploring C.G. Kahn's elastic face mouthpiece. In the 1870s, Charles Gerard Kahn was a cornet player in a band. One night, the band was playing in a local bar, and after a long night of performing and drinking, the band got into a fight. As the fight broke out, Kahn suffered a split lip. This caused a big problem because his split lip rendered Khan unable to make the proper armature with his lips to, around his cornet's mouthpiece, making him unable to play. Looking for a solution, Khan used rubber from a stamp kit and wrapped it around his metal mouthpiece. With the rubber attached, Khan was able to play his cornet through his injury, but Khan also saw potential. Khan applied for a patent in the United States, England, France, Belgium, and Canada the major instrument manufacturers at the time. In the application, Khan comments on how his mouthpiece makes it more comfortable for the performer when he stated, where the mouthpiece comes in contact with the lips, it is soft and hence does not destroy their sensibility by rendering them puffy, as does the metal mouthpiece. Consequently, it is never liable to produce a fuzzy tone. Soon after his patent application, Khan set up a workshop in Elkhart and began to sell his mouthpieces in Goshen, Bristol, Meshwalk, and South Bend. With the success of his mouthpiece, Khan began to produce instruments, which would grow into an international instrument manufacturer, produce a number of offshoot instrument companies, and make the city of Elkhart the band instrument capital of the world. And that is your EC History in 60.